Hey guys, it's Drea. Today I have a video that I did talk about a little while back. What's in my shower? <laughs> These are things that I might have talked about in different favorites here and there or in hauls or empties, but I just thought it'd be fun to talk about what's in my shower currently and do I like it? Would I repurchase? All that kind of stuff. So that's about it for an intro. Let's just get right into it. Um, okay, let's just start here. This is almost done and it's upside down because obviously you can tell why. Uh, this is from the Body Shop. This is the banana conditioner. I think I have another one of these as a backup. I think I might still. I bought a bunch all at once. Um, I love this stuff, obviously. It smells amazing. <laughs> like it smells so good. It smells just like real bananas and I really love it. Um, it's definitely not a deep conditioner. That is more of like my daily, not daily because I don't wash my hair every day, but it's more of like my regular conditioner. And then I have other deep conditioners that we'll talk about that I might use more sporadically, but that's my go-to. So it's just like a regular conditioner, not too deep or anything, just kind of nice. It won't weigh my hair down, you know? Okay, next I have a couple body washes. I've talked about this one recently because it is a huge favorite and I've gone through so much of it already. Already bought backups of it. This is from Bath and Body Works. It's the Bonfire Bash body wash. This is new this year. They just came out with this this year. It's basically marshmallow fireside in a body wash. Why didn't they think of it sooner? Like, did they ever do that before? Way back when? I never saw it if they did. They did a body spray this year and, um, and this um, bath gel. Why can't I think of it? They did a body spray this year and the shower gel, which is like, it's about time because everybody loves Marshmallow Fireside so much, including me. And this is so good. Like it smells so good. I've always loved Bath and Body Works shower gels um, for the way they bubble up really well and like the way they feel like they're very, they're not lacking in, in the bubble department. Let's just say that. Here's my other body wash that I have going on. This is from Dove. This is the Dry Oil Moisture. Um, nourishing body wash there's no scent name on it I got this in like a, a back to school kit type thing I normally wouldn't buy dub body washes like I tend to stick more to the bath and body works or body shop end of things but this came in that package and so I've been using it up and probably about halfway done the scent is okay like I don't love it but I will say this I do feel like this actually does give your skin some moisture um, which for body washes you don't normally expect a lot of moisture because it's just like on and off your body in such a short period of time but I really do feel like this actually does something because I don't feel dried out of course I'm gonna put on a bunch of oils and like body lotions after anyway regardless but I definitely feel like it doesn't dry me out here's something that I'm not sure if I'm gonna even continue using I talked about this in a recent hold it how was it this is the Inebria Ice Cream No Yellow Shampoo. So this is for blondes. We are like down to here. I don't use very much of this. I use probably like maybe a quarter size amount mixed into my regular shampoo and I only do it about once every 10 days. So that's why it's taken me so long to get through this. And now that my hair is darker, like, it's still, people still say it's blonde. And I'm like, really? I don't feel like a blonde anymore. <laughs> like, I feel like that real bombshell blonde is gone. Um, I guess this is still kind of blonde. So I don't intend on like doing my normal routine with this because we are outside of the scope of that. But I, if this start, starts going brassy at all, I might just do like a real quick, like in and out rinse of this because this is so good at getting rid of any of those yellowy tones. It's really all about that cool toned, a like blonde blonde if you leave this in too long your hair will be white even purple which happened to me one time but it is the strongest purple shampoo I've ever tried and I've tried a few here's a product that I really don't use that often and again it's taken me a long time there's still well, quite a bit left it's down to here this is from Vasanti which is a Canadian company this is called brighten up it's the enzymatic face rejuvenator um, this is one of their most popular products I bought this at Black Friday I don't even think it was last year I think it was the year before um, it might have been last year oh my okay I need to get to using this up this is so exfoliating that it could be harsh if you use it 
on a very consistent basis. I know people say don't exfoliate your face more than once a week. For me with this, I use this like once every three weeks. Like it's so intense. Um, you don't need a lot. I discovered that very quickly. I was using probably a quarter size amount. You probably only need like a dime size amount of this stuff. It also has those sandy like particles. Like it feels like you're rubbing sand on your face. So you have that topical kind of exfoliator, but also you have the chemical exfoliator kind of in it too. And that's why you have to be so careful with this. So I always have to pay very close attention to what I'm going to be putting on my face after I use this. Not only that night, because I would only use it at night, but also the next day. Because whenever you're getting rid of that layer of skin and that fresh layer of skin comes from underneath, you need to be using SPF. You need to pay very close attention to the SPF that you're using. And you also should not use any retinol products at the same time. So I always have to kind of like plan ahead for when I use this and that's why I don't use it probably as much as I could. Next is something I've talked about a lot as well and again very close to done with this. This is the L'Occitane Almond Oil. I use this to shave my legs with. I did that this morning and I remember looking at it going I think I have one more use left. Maybe two if I really stretch it. Um, but I love this. It smells so amazing. It always leaves my legs super moisturized. Never get any razor burn anymore. Ever since I started using oils to shave with as opposed to shaving creams, I never get razor burn anymore. So you don't necessarily have to go with an expensive version. You can go to the health store and get almond oil, um, which I think I'm going to start doing because it's cheaper. <laughs> and um, Or you can use like the Bath & Body Works oils, whatever. You can use an oil to... A shave with and then B afterwards I will use another oil to put on top of my legs I don't get razor burn I don't get ingrown hairs anymore actually I should talk about that too part of the reason I don't get ingrown hairs is because I always exfoliate my legs before I shave them <laughs> this is from the body shop this is the uh, vineyard peach exfoliating cream body scrub so I will always use a scrub on my legs and uh, before I do anything in the shower this stuff smells amazing like it smells like that sour peach gummies. Oh my goodness. Um, this to me could have a little bit more exfoliatingness to it. Like the granules in it aren't as intense as other ones I've tried. Um, but it's not bad either. Like it's, I've tried some that have definitely not enough that don't really do the job that don't exfoliate enough. This kind of, I just wish it had a little bit more, but I don't think it's bad in any way. Oh, it smells so good though. Like the scent of this is enough to just want to use it all the time. If I look like I'm in a different spot, it's because I just had to change my camera battery. Okay, next is shampoo. I have two of them. This one showed up in a favorites recently. This is the Garnier Whole Blends Oat Delicacy. It says on it moisturizes and softens. Whenever I feel like my scalp is getting sensitive, I go for this. So example today I definitely needed a wash because my hair had a lot of buildup in it from dry shampoo and texturizing spray and a uh, hairspray whatever and I, I was getting to that feeling like oh like this is like ugh, I need to wash my hair and so that's when I will go for something like this because it's so gentle and it really makes your scalp feel good so I don't think this is going to be anything crazy for like those of you that might have something more serious like psoriasis or eczema or something like that but just if you have pretty normal scalp but every once in a while it feels dry or sensitive this I think is something that you could reach for and the next is like my favorite shampoo of all time um, this is the, from L'Oreal it's the volume collagen two-in-one wait this is shampoo and conditioner has it always been shampoo and conditioner Okay, you guys, I just realized that this says 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner on it. I don't know if it's always been that way and I've been fooling myself or if this is new. Because normally I thought it was just shampoo I was buying. This is 2-in-1. I'm going to have to investigate at the at the drugstore because this is a pretty full one I just recently bought. Um, anyways, the L'Oreal Volume Collagen Shampoo is the one I have always gone to because it really gives you volume like I know shampoos will say that but whenever I have more fine hair and that sounds weird but like if my hair is not white blonde because that's when it gets thickness and more texture um when it's not like that when it's normal hair <laughs> I go for this because I mean I go for this all the time now but this is so good for giving you that lift where your hair is not being weighed down now I always say this whenever I straighten my hair I feel like it always looks a little bit less volumized which is like today um but if i have it curled or something like that or even air drying 
this, you'll see the volume in the hair. And then last thing that's currently in my shower is one of my favorites, one of my holy grails. This is the Joyco Joy K-Pack Intense Hydrator. This is like a leave-in conditioner. Um, now, not leave-in, but it's like an intense deep hydrating conditioner. So I will put this in my hair in the shower and then I will like shave my legs and, and do those other things that take up time so that this has time to sit in my hair. So I'll leave this in my hair for about five, to eight minutes and it even says that on here somewhere it says something like leave it in for four or five minutes um this is so intensely hydrating now again it was perfect when i had the super super damaged light blonde hair i am now going to have to see how this new hair responds to it because this hair still is a little bit damaged you know like this is still some of that blonde still at the bottom um, but I'm letting my natural color kind of come in through the top and so we will see how I like this now that I'm not the same whenever you go through big hair changes you know you just don't necessarily know if the products that you've been using forever are still gonna work for you right so um, yeah it'll be interesting to see because this is probably like my fifth bottle of this like honestly and I just buy it from winners or uh, Home Sense or like Marshalls, it's basically TJ Mac, TJ Maxx Marshalls stores. Um, that's where I get it. So I get it always for twelve ninety nine. I I don't know how much it costs at a salon, but I feel like that's a decent price. It lasts me a pretty long time, and I think it's really super good if you have dry, damaged hair. So that's it for what's in my shower. I hope that you found this helpful in terms of information and reviews. Um, you know, I didn't know if you guys would really like want this video or not, but hey, here we are, I'm doing it. Um, so if you're new around here, I'd love to see you around in the future. So definitely hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. I hope that you're speaking kindly to yourself, especially when you look in the mirror. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.